Hello and welcome to our latest Lodestone update video. Today I want to introduce a few new features that I've plugged into the navigation screen. And I'll just start. We have the program running already, so... Show closest point. There, gotcha. The first one is the show closest point feature, which will show... Well, it does exactly what it says. SST at 5 Ave, 15 meters at 3 o'clock. So Ash Street at 5th Avenue, which is about right. And then the next feature show neighborhood. is the gotcha. show neighborhood feature, which will show points within a radius around your current location. Six. Well, that six is just a testing thing. That's Navigation. not supposed to be there. So now we have a list of the no points within the neighborhood. Neighborhood selected, locked, checked. SST at five Ave, fifteen meters at three o'clock. Okay, so that point you heard it say locked and checked. That means that right now I have it set as a locked point so I can track it and it's also a checkpoint so it will be announced as I approach and there'll be an arrival announcement as I arrive. And if we go down, and then there's more. Okay, so and on each point we can hit a, if you select it like this, point actions. We can uncheck it or check it depending on the state. Lock. That's lock or unlock cancel. and cancel. Button. There'll be more actions later. So Checked. we'll go. Let's go back to the navigation screen. No, cooperate. <laughs> there we go. So, okay, and the where am I point, that was from the last demonstration. Show lock point. And show lock point, if we have a point that's locked that we want to keep track of. SST at 5 Ave, 15 meters at 3 o'clock. That's what that will do. And then, show next checkpoint, dim. Show next checkpoint which is currently dimmed. If you're moving along a list of checkpoints, that will show you the one that you are currently getting closest to. What's a checkpoint? A checkpoint is a, basically a point that you're interested in along, it's, it's almost like a route, but it's not in any specific order. So if you have a list of points that are checked, it will tell you when you're approaching them or when you've arrived at one. So that's what that will do. And then eventually there's going to be routes of points which will go in a specific order. That hasn't been implemented yet. But that's what we've implemented on the navigation screen. And then in the, the database. database tab, tab there's a couple new options. Database. Right here, Two there four. is the functions tab okay, we'll here. checkpoints databases. The databases. Button. This here will let you select which databases, databases to activate database. for the program. So right now we have databases selected. British, British Columbia. Columbia. That's our places within British Columbia database, and it's currently selected, so it's active. Selected default. And default, which is basically the points I've been saving. Selected. Metro Vancouver bus stops. And the list of Metro Vancouver bus stops. And I have those all selected, so when I want to know about points within the area, I have access to all of that. And then the other option we've implemented here Button. is the checkpoints. It's similar. Checkpoints. Checkpoints. Selected. Christie's. That's basically, you can select from the various lists of checkpoints you may have. At this point, I only have the one, and it's currently active. He can find my house, yay! Exactly, that's Christy. She's doing our video for us. And then that's um, the settings tab. We have a few new settings in here. Not uh, general, here we go. So we have signal monitor. These are all from the previous one. We have, now we can adjust how far the, the program will do if we do a point search, that's within the number of kilometers. Neighborhood radius, neighborhood radius for the show neighborhood function. Approach time, Approach time. so it'll tell you within, so if you're approaching a, a, point, sec, a point that is 10 seconds away, it's going to tell you when, you've, when you're getting close. Arrival radius, 16 meters. Arrival radius, so how close you have to be to a point before it announces it as an arrival. Navigation, tab. And that's pretty much all the features that have been added since the last video, which if you haven't seen that, go watch that video. It's really good. So that's, um, yeah, these features are going to be pretty easy to use. In fact, they're going to be so easy to use that you could do it with your eyes closed. <laughs>